okay but the third part I need to be able to uncheck this when I uncheck it I want it to be disabled as well so let's go in there and repeat the same for all let's double click on this and right down there we enter as follows the same has been repeated for all of the checkbox so if I run it now and enable that you know, check 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 uncheck uncheck and uncheck okay the same thing the same thing was repeated for the reset button so if I come in here let's check those and click on the reset there there we go all right so that is fine with the reset all I've just done is I've just added and enabled equals force and the same thing here so that is fine so those are the lines of code for the resets so have a good look at it now the other thing is there seems to be an error when we run the program we are able to enter any type of data in on the text box look at that that is not allowed so we need to do something about that that is wrong so let's go in there um, we use let's use change events so let's go for if not if not is number or if not if is numeric tst apple dot text or dot value dot value will do it dot value then I want it to I want txt apple to default back to zero there so let's try this out and if let's end if yes. then we try this out just these lines of code if it works then we we'll repeat the same thing for all of the text box so let me copy it before trying it out copy then run it so enable apple enter data in there okay that has now changed the way i want okay that should disappear but let's say there's nothing in there okay it's responding back immediately so i really don't want that okay let's try something else okay i have i think let's have a good look at the codes no take that off that's wrong supposed to be empty okay then let's try it again yeah and I try supposing I try to enter whatever value no that's not working okay although you cannot see it but this can all right there's it there we go okay let's enable it again and try to use a keyboard let's come in here grab the keyboard that's my keyboard already there we go and enable that and let's enter ordinary character look at that guys it is not working but if i enter numbers can you see that that's brilliant okay all right let's repeat the same thing for all of the text box get rid of the keyboard reset exit and double click on this no wrong double click on the text box okay I want to change that to orange and repeat the same thing for this okay so that's for orange taking care of let's take care of one more then I can speed it up let's take care of this paste and just change that to bacon change this to bacon as well 
okay I'm now going to speed that up and get back to you guys alright the text box codes are completed there they are and all that we need to do now since all of this is completed is to work on the calculations okay so let's try out the calculation now so exit there and come to total double click on total first thing first let me check okay I have my option explicit declared and also I've also declared an array but that's supposed to be 0 to 30 and let's see how many of those items I have I think I have about 22 of those so that's fine 30 is okay so we have 0 to 30 right there take it out up yeah that's it so let's come right inside the total so we double click on the total itself right there so I'm going to call the array so let's say item cost 0 equals um, I'm going to go for by value just if that text box is empty so txt apple dot text and I will now make up the price let's say apple is £1.50 there that is for the apple and the rest the others let's make up the others really so we double click on that I think we also have we have orange and so on double click on let's come down here just need to make that up so we have orange and this is broken right the price of the orange maybe we go for 0 0.85 and the broken let's say 195 yeah and change this to one two okay so then let's just speed it all up copy and paste and speed it up okay that those are the lines of codes for the total now we need to then add up all of these so let me go for the same array 22 so it's 22 array 22 so let's say equals all of this let's add them all up now that'll be 0 plus 1 plus 2 plus 3 array number five right so that's for that so we're going to need yeah let's go for plus array number six as well since you guys can see that all right that is fine just go copy this so I can speed up the whole process and paste that in there and that in there then this is at 23 so that's 7 8 Okay, we have 20 there and this one will be 24 so since we have up to 21 so let's come in and just enter another one so that's going to be that we hold up all of the total so let's say array 25 
equals array 21 plus array 22 plus array 23 and plus array 24 Okay, that's fine. So what we happen is we can then say I think it's txt tax dot tax equals array twenty five. Okay, just want to use that to try it out and make sure it works right. So let's come in here, run it and grab anything just click on that and there okay so let's work out the tax of total and total now set that first now come straight inside the total double click on total so right in here so let's divide the tax let's say tax divided by 100 that should give us the tax we actually need to multiply this by the tax rate so let's look for the tax rate scroll right up there we go that's the tax rate we don't copy that let's bring it down here so let's say tax rate equals zero point let's say seven five so this will become this multiply copy all of this multiply this by this let's open and close the bracket there so that will give us the tax yeah that will give us the tax all right so we know the tax now what about subtotal subtotal equals we can we can copy all of this let's paste this in a bracket and just add we can add this straight away onto it that will give us that and this oh no that's total that is for total okay just copy all of this then paste this there get rid of this that's total and subtotal yeah that is correct so if I run it let's enable anything and enter something in there click on that you see that so we now need to then convert it to give us the pound sign let's come back in here double click on total and scroll right down here we go convert it all to pound sign so let's go for tax right here paste that in there equals let's say format and let's enter the pound sign and ash key ash ash let's say 0, 0.00 and close that up there that should give me the pound now I'm going to copy that so that I can convert that to total total right here and we don't want this one to be the subtotal that should be sub and the same thing here subtotal there okay let's run it and see
tab value in there and then click on that there we go guys you see that yeah we are almost done so all I just need to do now is come back in here double click on total you see those price I just need to modify those price so let's modify them individually so we can just put two here maybe two here as well one here oh this is gin let's make that a bit expensive and wine okay let's speed that up okay it's all done now the price are now individualized so we have individual price there so let's run it and see select me to enter how many we want in there orange maybe we want three of those wine six alcoholic rum why not we having a party we having a party so let's order more of those say four of these and what about smoke fish eight grapes cucumber slurry and heavy meat yeah so if we click on that that's what we get and when you add this together you get 245 and here so this is the last bit let's try and make up a receipt so let's go back inside the total so that the total is self generated receipt double click on total and come right underneath here first thing I need to know the name of this very object here so it's called T receipt so right there T receipt dot text is there anything like how can I say no dot text equals right there those are the lines of code for the receipt Let's take it up so that you see all of the total as it's bring it down. Alright, so let's run this program now. Run and we select maybe orange and five of those grapes, eight of those tomato. Let's maybe populate it a little bit more apple broccoli and let's get some wine on board okay gin uh, rum let's go for some wine we make that 10 alcoholic we need a bag of rice and meat we need a couple of those let's go for five and meatballs let's say about three bacon maybe three as well what about a bag of beans let's get one of those on board cheese yeah there so all you just need to do now is click on total and there and that is your receipt okay guys with that i'm gonna call it the end of this tutorial i suppose you all enjoy it you all have a nice day now and bye for now